everybody it's trinity oracles today we're going to be doing a psychic reading on sharon osborne and piers morgan mm -hmm. is sharon osborne going to get fired from the talk mm -hmm. is piers morgan after his dramatic exit going to come back to good morning britain <laughs> Drama queen. um we're also going to answer um will he face more backlash from what happened with megan and will megan and piers morgan and harry also mend their friendship we're also going to look into um Holly Robinson Pete brought up the fact that Sharon Osbourne said that her and Leah Remedy were ghetto. She said in an email and that Sharon was involved in their firing, supposedly. Mm -hmm. I'm look into that. Yeah. What's next for Sharon Osbourne and what's next for the talk? Because some people think that this is going to be the end of the show. Mm -hmm. so. I just want to discuss Sharon Osbourne and Cheryl's relationship. Is Ooh, this the end? Oh, the yeah. beginning of the end of their relationship? Yeah. So, we are Trinity Oracles for those of you who do know us and don't know us. We are three psychic sisters. I'm Candace. This is Jasmine and this is Erica. We do readings, healing. We even do email readings. So, if you don't have the time, get an email reading. <laughs> yeah, we do them through video, um, pre recorded video, yeah. audio, and typed. So, that's available. Yes, we do um, healings. We also have an Etsy shop. Go ahead and shop our Etsy shop for all things. Very nice product. Yeah. <laughs> for all your yeah we have more than that. <laughs> For all your spiritual needs, so and join our Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah. Meditations, yeah. exclusive channelings, and healings, and all that good stuff. Yeah. So let's get into this reading. Okay. So we're gonna start with Piers Morgan. Um, what's next for Piers Morgan after leaving Good Morning Good Morning Britain? Will he come back? Mm. Mm. He's so dramatic. They thought he was a water sign, but come to find out, he was actually a fire sign. They're dramatic too. He's an Aries, but he's too. born on the thirtieth, which is the three born. That's a number of drama. Oh, mm. Lord. Mm -hmm. Dramatic. Dramatic exits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was just so weird. Literally. The weird. guy who let him go was so classy. He was just like every day from six thirty to seven thirty. We have to hear you. He must have been a Capricorn or a Taurus. He was just so calm with it. I was like, wow. <laughs> He was telling the truth though. I don't watch that show, but is he coming back? Yeah, Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan. Yeah. What's next for him? Is he gonna come back? Is Piers Morgan? I got no. He is not coming back to that show. Um, yeah, because I feel like he doesn't get the freedom that not the freedom, but um, I feel like they're gonna be like you can't talk about this, but he's gonna want to. Mm. You can't talk about Megan and Harry. You know, you're wasting viewership time. We've lost viewership because of what you what you say. Mm. So he's not gonna come back. I don't see him coming back, but he will fight for rights to ha con continuing having rights to the show. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's some ties being severed. This is Mars. Mm -hmm. I feel like they really, they're like, you left? Okay, and they're giving him a real, you're going to get a real exit. But he's fighting for exclusive rights to all his interviews. All um. But I keep getting that. It's funny that we have Good Morning America and it's Good Morning Britain. So are they the same company? Because if they are the same, Probably. you know what I mean? It's like, I'm surprised that the Good Morning franchise, or I don't know what you call it, would allow Piers Morgan to even talk like that. Oh, but then wow. you have Good Morning America. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he talked like that about American, Megan. But if you guys are the same, why would you guys even allow that in Britain? They mm -hmm. have different censorships over there. I know that, but it's like, you get what I'm saying though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was just wondering that. I was like, I wonder if they're the same company. They probably are. Yeah. Like, is it ABC or CBS? Or I, I think, I think so. Or, right? I don't know. I think it might be yeah. CBS. Yeah, I know they have a different sense, but I was just like, shut up. I got that Pierce Morgan will not be coming back. I do get that he won't come back out of pure embarrassment also. Like, even if they invited him, he has such a big ego. He's like, I can't go back there. That was like, you know, that was embarrassing the way I left. Because he, he had no power. Mm -hmm. He felt powerless. That guy basically put him on blast. He didn't like that. It knocked out his ego yeah so they say he won't go back for pure pure um, pure embarrassment also yeah, he already has deals lined up so i wouldn't be shocked he might do like a podcast or something like that yeah like his own show like almost like howard stern where he can say anything he wants to yep. that's, i got that's that too I yep. and i see that deals already lined up for him anyway yeah he's not coming back to good morning yeah britain they said all is not lost but i'm gonna say this i wouldn't be shocked if megan doesn't do a lawsuit against piers morgan Wow. What, if, like affirmation of character or something? She I should. wouldn't be shocked. They keep spirit saying there's already a lawsuit in the works. We may not hear about it publicly, or we may. But mm -hmm. not only Megan, I feel like there's a couple of other people coming for Piers Morgan. Hmm, I, got to people, sue him. I got people who maybe work for the show. Like, he was mean to me. I left my job because... You know, he just says things and it embarrasses you. And I left. He has several lawsuits coming for him. Yeah, and I get who I, I feel like this card is Megan. This is Triumph of the Goddess. She's going to win her lawsuit, too. Oh, wow. Get your money. You get, okay. Get your, <laughs> get your, your, your pounds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
Anything else you guys get? No, that's, a, that's like I got a question. Yeah. All okay. right. Um, next question is: Will Pierce Morgan uh, face more backlash from the Meghan Markle incident alone? I mm. think we kind of. Well, we, well, we didn't answer if he'll face more backlash because supposedly Sharon, and that's why we're including Sharon in this video, she was sticking up for Pierce Morgan. Your friend, she said. Yeah. And she was like, it's free speech, blah, blah, blah. Pierce Morgan is not going to stop talking. No, I got that no. authority card. He's going to continue to run his mouth and talk trash about her, Harry, and anybody else he wants to. He just, Pierce, is, Pierce keeps saying he has an extremely inflated ego. Wow. He thinks he's hot stuff. No one can knock him down. Well, obviously, we saw you got knocked down. That's why your ass walks off the set. But they say he's going to continue to talk trash. Yeah. They say he, does, he doesn't care. And they said that, did, like, him getting fired, which is basically, like, Giving add a fuel to, to the fire. fire to his Aries. It add a fuel to him. So he keep running his mouth. Wow. And they said until he dies, he will always talk trash about her. He will always, as long as he's on TV, he can talk. He will always keep talking trash about her. Does Pierce Morgan have children? I think I, he does. I don't, Are they I don't young know. or older? I think he has younger kids. I think. <sighs> Let me see some because I keep seeing this young lady. I don't know if. She could be, may have, may have been an intern. Maybe he is like a daughter to him. I keep seeing oh. this young woman speaking up against him. Mm -hmm. I got no, that too. But it's it feels girl. like someone close. I don't know if it's a family member or, an, like I said, or an intern that was like, he treated her like family. Like daughter. Yeah, I keep seeing that. I'm like, there's someone. It's an older young lady who's going to bring up stuff. I'll tell you something. Piers Morgan, in these podcasts, he's going to be tearing down minorities. He's coming for black people. Oh, wow. I feel like a lot of his content mm -hmm. will be racially sensitive. Mm -hmm. He will wow. choose racially charged and racially sensitive Subjects. subjects. Yeah, exactly, topic. exactly. And they keep saying he's going to come, he's coming for... I want to see a racist then. I don't know. Because that's not like I want to see a racist then. But I mean, well, suppose he was friends with Meghan Markle. Well, he said they were friends for years. Yeah. She's half black, so... But. No, it's not. I, I just feel like he's got a vendetta. Um, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna make this money anyway. He's crazy. He he he, he really is. That mouth is toxic. Look at, I fire. do see though. They keep that he is gonna have death threats. Mm -hmm. They said because it's Meghan Markle thing, so they said he is gonna be getting death threats. And they said because of his podcast, they said his security's gonna be up. Yeah, everything. So Pierce Morgan, you care what you say. Yeah, exactly. you don't care, but you gotta care what you say. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, next question for Pierce Morgan is: um, Will there ever, will him and Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's relationship ever be mended? Will he just finally be like, you know what? I think Let's I already get along. That. Yeah, you did answer. Yeah, like, yeah. on track about her until they, he he can tell he takes his last breath. <laughs> he, they said he's obsessed. Mm. It's funny though because I feel like he's actually more obsessed. I know this might sound counterintuitive to what I've said before. He's more obsessed with Harry than Meghan, but I feel like he voices his disgust, mm. disgust towards Meghan. That's kind of weird. I keep that getting weird. that. I'm like, what the heck? I keep seeing racially charged attacks on either either Prince Harry or or Piers Morgan character. I keep getting that. So there's going to be people coming out of the woodworks like, he treated me like this. I was a black woman. They keep saying something about racially charged attacks. Wow. So either people are going to come out against him or like I said, he's going to do racially charged attacks. Dang. He's obsessed with Prince Harry. It's I think he's obsessed with Meghan Markle too. I think he's obsessed no, no, with, with both. But I like he's... He's more obsessed with Harry. With Harry. He takes his anger out and resentment on Harry. Um, on on Meghan versus Harry. That's crazy. Yep. Okay. That's crazy. All right. So... We talked about Piers Morgan. Okay, well, we're going to bring in a Sharon Osbourne. Sharon Osbourne defended Piers Morgan. She said that's her friend. Piers Morgan's not racist. So we're going to get into Sharon Osbourne. All right, so um, was Sharon Osbourne using Piers Morgan as a crutch to voice her own opinion about how she feels about race? And for those of you who don't know, Sharon is on the show The Talk. Mm -hmm. And she was sticking up for Piers Morgan. And we didn't watch the episode, but we just kind of read a little bit about what was happening. I saw a little clip. Also. And th they were saying that, she was saying that you guys are trying to insinuate that I'm racist because I support Piers Morgan. I may be off about the details. Please don't come at me for it, okay? But basically, she got mad about that. So because of that, her and Cheryl, Cheryl. I want to call her Sharon, but a Cheryl had a one-on-one -on -one talk together. And basically, Cheryl was staying very calm and was telling her, you know, it's, he's insinuating racism. Because mm -hmm. she's a black woman, they're trying to say that she's fine. Because she has money, like all sorts of things. And Sharon was not having it. She mm -hmm. was telling Cheryl, quit crying. Mm -hmm. um, you're trying to say that I'm racist. And Cheryl was trying to tell her. Just because you didn't say racist things, mm -hmm. like, 
literally it was the undertone it's what's behind it oh. that people of color can see mm -hmm. no this is coming from racism mm -hmm. this is not coming from yeah mm -hmm. like facts or you know what i'm trying to I say imagine. yeah so was sharon osborne using pierce morgan as a crush because mm -hmm. mm. Sharon said, I'm trying to protect free speech. Oh, that's what she, that's what she said. Say. She said, I'm for free speech. You guys shouldn't jump down his throat. But she didn't understand how insensitive. Mm -hmm. like the, the way she spoke to her was very rude. I saw the clip. I was like, oh, yeah, please. Meghan Markle was saying that she felt suicidal. So regardless if you believe it or not, you don't just talk shit about somebody when they're saying, because you know how many people have felt suicidal in their life? Exactly. You know, so there's a fine line with free speech. Because Pierce Morgan went, he went on a rant saying he doesn't believe in anything. He doesn't believe her. He doesn't believe in anything that comes out of Meghan Markle's mouth, and that's basically why he got fired. And they said when he said that, they said like forty thousand people like that day or in that moment like emailed and was like, hey, like that's rude. You shouldn't be talking about people with mental health issues. Like that's not cool. And he got mad about the yeah. So I don't see she was using Pierce Morgan as a crutch. I don't get that. I, I don't get genuinely that feel she does feel remorseful about what she said, though. Yeah. Like, she actually did think about, like, you know, I did that. I shouldn't have said that. I get when Cheryl talked to her, that's when she started getting it. Like, oh my. I wonder what sign Cheryl is. Because she's one of those people, when you come at her, she's, she's not going to get it. Then when she reflects, oh, Sharon. she gets Or oh, Sharon. Cheryl. When Sharon yeah, reflects, she gets it. It's funny that you said that because I got the Iron Presence card, like a woman looking down. Yeah, I got the Oh, you got that too. I got the card. It's a woman, like, studying. Like, she actually wasn't. Like, she actually is remorseful about what she said. She actually does get it. So she wasn't using him as a crutch. Uh, yeah. mm -mm. Not at yeah. all. Are they really friends? That's what's, yeah, that's the next question. What's their relationship really like? They're more acquaintances, I'm getting. Like, if she sees them, she sees me have a little chit chat for 10, 15 minutes, but I don't get like they come over together and like at each other's house and have tea and stuff like that. They're not that close. Sharon, she, okay. Sorry, They're saying she projected herself. So, does she know Piers Morgan? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, have they chatted, tea time, whatever? I said acquaintances. Acquaintances, yes. I feel like Sharon took it personal because Sharon voices what she wants to say all the time. Mm -hmm. So when she saw this happen to Piers Morgan, she got scared. She was like, oh my God, I can be next. Mm -hmm. So when this happened with Piers, it's like hitting a, a sore spot mm -hmm. for her. And that's why she's like, I don't want to protect free speech. Blah, 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 blah. She got scared. She said, oh my God, people are going to try and tone down my voice because I say whatever and I can get away with it. Mm -hmm. So she got scared. That's why she stuck up for him. Even just like, yeah, even like because they're not like super friends, they're just, exactly. they're just acquaintances, exactly. But her and Pierce, mm -hmm. Sharon, her and Pierce at, Morgan, are, okay, they're acquaintances. Sharon's at fear for things she said in the past coming up. Well, people have and been she could recording get, her, yeah, so she, she's episodes. afraid she might get the axe from the show and other things. She's like, Oh my god, I could lose my career over things me and Ozzy have said in the past. That's interesting because people have been digging up. Um, I guess some people filmed the show mm -hmm. and like past stuff she said. Um, she said they said that they're taking a hiatus, CBS, for two, for, two for two days, and they're going to see whether I guess they yeah. they're going to investigate. Sharon. Yeah. Do you yeah. see them as friends? I see they're actually friends. Mm -hmm. I see they're actually. Like, what do you consider friends? Or acquaintances? I mean, I see they actually go to each other's houses, but I don't. I see it's like. They're not buddy buddy like they mm -hmm. might come over hey after work hey let's come over and mm -hmm. hang out i don't see like best friends yeah mm -hmm. yeah i feel like she exaggerated the relationship Who? Sharon. Sharon? okay like we're friends and i'm just sticking up for a friend we're talking about Cheryl. Kept Sharon. Sharon. Sharon's gonna be Sharon down. says she was friends with Piers morgan sharon's oh, gonna be doing damage control also with her daughter too they brought up Kelly too. So oh, Kelly might have people been coming at her. She did say something. Mm -hmm. so what did Kelly say? Kelly um, um, basically said when they were deciding to build the wall that Trump wanted mm -hmm. to build, she said, "Well, oh, well, who's um, who's gonna clean our houses and bathrooms?" Yeah, that's what she said. You and people were mad. They're like, "What do you? What do you? Why do you? Why'd you say that?" Like Mexican people, they do. Oh Mexican people. They have businesses. They're, That's you know crazy. what I mean. And she said that, and people were like, "What?" Say, Kelly, you better clean because you don't have a job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what she, she said. Don't work. She went on the talking. Actually, that's so I, remember, I remember that oh, episode. Yeah. yeah, she's like, well, if the, they they didn't close the wall to the legal that's... immigrants, who's gonna clean our homes and our bathroom? That's, oh, but she's having a joke. Or being serious. She was being serious. That's crazy. Oh my god. And then she tried to backtrack and say, well, you know, people who are immigrants, that's the jobs they usually take, which is not true. Not always true. Exactly. That's the and it's by demographic yeah. too. That's yeah. crazy. That's ignorant. Lordy I'm, Jesus Christ. I ain't even got no words for that. Yeah. When she that. said it, I was like, hmm. 
Well, they said she's doing damage control the spirits, but. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All so. Right. Okay. Shoot, we can get into it. She's gonna get fired from the top. Yeah, sure, 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 <laughs> we can say, actually, we'll save that. We actually have another one before that. Did she really call Holly Robinson, Pete, and Leah Remedy ghetto? Because supposedly they, Sharon called them ghetto, and that supposedly Sharon was the one that got them fired from the job, yeah. from the talk, and then Sharon said she had nothing to do with them getting fired. Yeah, she told Holly Robinson and Leah Remedy to like grow up. Because Leah Remedy put her on blast. Yeah. She was like, You said me and Holly Robinson were ghetto. And we're not a good fit for the show. And then they got fired the next day after she said it. Mm -hmm. So Sharon said, grow up. I had nothing to do with it. Get over it. So, you know, what? actually, before that, we forgot about yeah. Cheryl and Sharon. Like, are they really, are Cheryl and Sharon really friends? Because mm -hmm. she said that. She said, I just want you to know as a friend, you know, what you said hurt me. I thought they're actually friends. That her, Cheryl and Sharon Osborne are friends. I get that. I feel like they're actually going to mend their relationship. Mm -hmm. um, they may even mend it on the show. Like, have a talk. They're about, actually really good friends. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Like, they actually do have, like, debates and conversations, like, friendly ones. I actually do, they actually do genuinely care about each other. Like, they do go to each other's houses mm -hmm. and stuff like that and hang out. I don't know if, like, you know, they mm -hmm. might have. But they actually do, are actually genuinely good friends. Really? It's and you're saying they came together to teach each other things. Mm hmm It's funny that you say that because I got yeah. this. You see, like, the woman standing over the child and the child's angry. This is for both of them. Like, both of them come mm -hmm. together and take over the mother and child role. Like, yeah. back and forth. And then they'll switch. Then Cheryl is a child and Sharon's the mother. It's it's back yeah. and forth. Mm -hmm. It's a teaching relationship. And growing relationship, I guess you'd say. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'll wait. No, I was going to say something about it. All right. Um, will Sharon Osborne get fired from the talk? That's exactly what I was about to answer. <laughs> Sharing the fire. Ooh, chopping hair. Hmm. I get no. I see Sharon will take a hiatus from the show. Yeah, she's But I don't see her getting fired. Yeah. I actually do get she's going to get fired. They said in time. They said they're not going to mm -hmm. do it right now, but they're going to wait a couple months and then Sharon will make her exit. I feel like though Sharon's going to bow out and be like, oh, you know, I decided not to be on the show anymore. I'm going to do different things. But mm -hmm. really, she got fired. Mm, so they wow. said in a couple of months. So that mm. they said that, that people won't remember what she said and connect the two. Mm. So that's why they're going to wait a couple of months. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So she is going to get fired, but you probably won't know in the public or she'll just make her bow out. Her classy bow out, I guess. Yeah, because I don't see her getting fired because of this. I, feel, I keep seeing they're going to do a show about racial sensitivity with Sharon oh. and Sharon. I keep seeing that. I'm they like, said that they're going to talk about it on the show. That's oh, what okay. um, Sharon Osbourne, I think she tweeted or put on Instagram. Yeah. She's like, we're going to have a discussion about what, you know, the change we had. And, yeah, they yeah. say it's the show's way of cleaning up. Mm -hmm. Cleaning mm -hmm. it up. What are you getting? You got, what'd you get? I thought she's not going to get fired. Mm -hmm. um, because of this incident. Yeah, because of the incident. Mm -hmm. Right yeah. now, like. Don't expect it two days, Sharon is cut. Mm hmm mm hmm All right. Um, I see how Erica says she'll leave eventually. Mm hmm Um, because it's I get this heart again lost card. You see the woman, she's kinda like holding like the over her stomach. I get that um Sharon Osborne's kinda like I might say something that might offend people again and that people are really gonna come at me. Mm hmm Yeah. I do see Sharon cutting all ties with Piers Morgan though. You will not oh. hear her mention his name anymore. You will not see her do interviews with him. You will not, like, I, they keep saying that just that because of this, especially during this hiatus, like, she's really not going to, she's like, you know what? I'm not, I, I cannot risk my career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see that. Spirit is showing, like, Sharon in the background, like, talking to the producers and the people who run this show, like, hey, you know what? If you guys are gonna fire me, you guys wait a couple couple months so you know I can clean house basically and then go out classy. Yep. So wow. she is she does know she's gonna get let go, but she's already talked to them so she can maintain her image. I see what is her name? There's an Asian woman who runs the show. She used to be um, Oh Julie Chen. Yeah. Julie Chen. I see she Julie left. Chen is a big part of this cleanup though. Because her husband owns the talk. That's her well, show. Her husband, Julie Chen, left. This is a little backstory. Julie Chen left the talk because her husband was being accused of sexual harassment. And she left. Mm -hmm. But I mean, she yeah. owns the show. Yeah, she that's pretty much, she started it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she started it. I get, she's like, Sharon, you better clean it up. She's a big part of this cleanup effort. I actually feel like they might have came down on Cheryl in the background. Like, Cheryl, you said too much. I, mm -hmm. I see Cheryl is getting backlash from the producers and other cast members. Mm -hmm. I don't see 
Cheryl being the one that's getting praised in the background, mm. I keep getting, they're like, why did you call her out? I, that's oh, what wow. I'm, I'm getting, that the scales are, look at this. This ain't the thing. Oh, this isn't the scales. I, I get, but the scales are out of balance. That's what I'm getting. Oh, They're like the same view. <laughs> the same view. Yeah. The view, they love to trash each other. Exactly, exactly. I even feel like they're going to try and curb racially sensitive topics. They're like, you know what? We can't even open the, open the door up to that. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's what I'm getting. Is Cheryl going to leave in the top? I don't know why. Let me see. That's funny you said that. I was like, I wish Cheryl going to leave. She was like, you know what? They can't you can't talk or say what you want to say anymore. No. I'm talking about, like Cheryl's the black woman. Yeah. I'm talking about Cheryl. I feel like she, they're coming down on her in the back. We won't hear about this publicly. Okay. But we will not hear. Is she going to leave though? I want to see something because they keep bringing her up. Uh -huh. She's not going to leave, but I feel like Cheryl's going to get her own show. Oh, people love her. Yeah. Her own either podcast, her own TV show. It's something about like social justice or social. I see podcasts on YouTube. Mm-hmm. There's something there and Julie's going to help her. Oh, I like that. Because nice. uh -huh. like the stuff you want to say is not for the show. There's something There's something there with Cheryl. I don't, I don't watch the show. So I don't know if she talks about certain topics. She talks about anything she wants to. Mm, but, they all do. But I feel like she kind of gears. There's something there. Like she, she always brings up like racial things. I guess they don't like. They probably get too much. Like talking about racism all the time. Exactly. They're like, this is not for us. Like you said, this is not the view. Yeah. We're the talk. We're supposed to be more lighthearted. Mm -hmm. Something of that nature. And Cheryl will be okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, we mentioned Holly Robinson, Pete, and Leah Remedy. Um, did Sharon Osbourne really say that they're ghetto? They had something to do with them getting fired. Yeah, because they were on. The, I watched the show in the beginning. They were on the show. The next thing you know, they were gone. Mm -hmm. And Holly Robinson Pete said we never got a call what? or anything like that. And Leah Remini was like, "What?" Leah Remini and Sharon had beef. I tell you they, right they now. They did not get along. This is see this man and then the woman in the background. This is their beef. They had lots of karma. I feel like Sharon's views were completely opposite of Leah Remini's views. Um, Holly Robinson Pete, they just said she was boring. They just said like for the show she didn't fit it. Like she was just too boring and she didn't fit with the groove of the show. So they let her go because of that. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that had to do anything to do with Cheryl. Like that one I don't know. But Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. But did Sharon really call them ghetto? That's what people really I get a yes for that. I actually do get a yes. She did say that. I get that. They say Sharon says whatever she wants. Yep. Sharon's called them that. Yeah. She has a lot of leeway behind the mm -hmm. scenes. Yeah. Well, especially for Leah Remini. I see her being like, hey, it's either her or me. And she didn't uh, like them anyway. Leah Remini got let go. Yep. This is scales of balance. They said Leah Remini didn't have enough weight. Sharon had more weight. Mm -hmm. So maybe she is part owner of the show, has stocks in the show. There's something there. Maybe her and Ozzy put money towards the show, something mm -hmm. like that. Kelly Osbourne, is she on a TV show or something? No, no. Kelly I don't know anything. Kelly I'm not work. sure. Because they said Kelly Osbourne, it's funny that you did bring her up earlier. There's an axe coming for her. An axe? An axe. Like, oh, so if she's connected to she something, does. she'll be cut. We may hear about it publicly. We may not. I feel like there's some... Because, like you said, they're sharing, trying to do cleanup. Mm -hmm. I do see some type of cleanup in the background, but there's something about Kelly coming up. And she's going to be, she might get axed, but like yeah. I said, we might not hear about it. All right. Um, what's next for Sharon Osbourne? Yeah, but the answer to the question, Sharon did, Sharon did have nothing to do with Holly Robinson getting fired. It was more of the producer thought she was born, but Sharon did have something to do with Leah Remini getting fired. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so and she so did call them ghetto. She, she we did, did she get did. that. We did. Get the ghetto. Get the ghetto. <laughs> That's probably how she said it. She did call them ghetto. <laughs> so what's next for Sharon? Oh, like I, said, I see eventually Sharon leaving. I see some um. I see another grandkid coming. I see Sharon Osbourne might do like a. Um, you know how they her and Ozzy had that like uh, reality show back then. It might just oh, be her and Ozzy <laughs> talking, acting silly. I see that coming for her and the family next. I see that too. I see another grandchild coming too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Kelly Osbourne. I keep seeing her on Carpool Karaoke. I see Kelly. Mm -hmm. I know we're talking about Sharon, but they're showing. Can't, oh. uh, Kelly. Kelly. They're showing Kelly for some odd reason, but I feel like somebody's gonna bring up something about her past. Like she might be like in carpool karaoke, and he's like, "Do you remember when you said blah 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 blah?" Oh, no. I see some. If she's not with him, she's gonna be doing something. Somebody's gonna bring something up. I do see some type of apology coming from her about what she said, what she said, mm -hmm. and the way she's acted towards people or something of that nature. 
But yeah, I see a new grandchild, Sharon Osbourne taking the hiatus. I see her doing like producing. And drifting mm -hmm. out. I don't know if mm -hmm. like, no, Sharon already does produce, but I see her doing like producing. She probably produce like some shows or something like that and get producer credits. Mm -hmm. um, I do see if her eventually try to do her own thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think she'll be, I don't feel like she'll be successful on her own show. But I do mm -hmm. feel like she like she like a podcast or something like that with Ozzy would be successful, but by herself it wouldn't be like super successful. Yeah, like she can't talk. get enough of the public interest by herself. Yeah, she has she to be has connected to, to people, other people. Have a group of people. Yeah. There's a biopic coming up too, talking about Ozzy. Oh wow. Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon, Sharon. I keep wanting to say Cheryl. <laughs> Sharon, Sharon. Sharon. It's just another thing. He knows all the questions. Yeah, that's everything. Shop our Etsy shop. Book your reading with Trinity Oracles. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually did predict about Meg Thee Stallion winning a Grammy. Yeah, or Grammy. I think she got three of them. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, she got three. And then we also the worked Beyonce right got, Now she's like the most... Tied? No, she has... No, she that she beat Allison Cross or something like that. Mm -hmm. She has the most Grammys now. Good for you. Yeah, and then uh, we also predicted about Kim and Kanye getting a divorce. Um, check out our other videos. A Rod J Lo. Yeah. They split and then supposedly they got back together. No, they split. They yeah. just doing damage control Contract right now. Contract is over. <laughs> it's true. It is true. It is true. So um yeah. we hope you guys enjoy this reading. And until next time guys. Bye bye. bye.